In this video, let's see another set of numerical problems based on the differentiation of inverse trigonometric function. We already know what is inverse trigonometric function and we know how to differentiate it. What is the formula? Right? So, we have again differentiate with respect to x for two parts are given. Let's start with the first part and let's write the heading as solution. So, I write the heading as solution. Start with the first part. First part is let's say y is equal to the given function and the given function is log tan inverse x. So, it is basically having an inverse trigonometric function as well as log. Now, if I want to differentiate with respect to x, it will be dy by dx which is equal to what? You see here is log. What is the differentiation of log x? It is 1 upon x. So, it is 1 upon x. x is tan inverse x here in this question, in this problem. But 1 upon x is not the only answer because according to chain rule, when you move forward, you saw there was also tan inverse x. Now, what is the differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to x? You know the formula. If you have learnt in the previous videos, it is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So, that means this is the answer. We can write it in a proper manner. It should be 1 upon tan inverse x multiplied by 1 plus x square. So, this is the answer to this numerical problem number 1 based on what concept? On chain rule solving using the chain rule inverse trigonometric functions differentiation. The second part is also not very difficult. I request you to please pause the video and first try yourself and then verify with my solution. So, it says sin inverse x square whole cube. So, let's again name this as any other thing. Let it be z. So, let z be sin inverse x square whole cube. Please do not make any mistake in copying the question, right? Now, differentiating with respect to x, so it is dz by dx and c. If this whole thing behaves as x and this behaves as the power n, so isn't it the x raised to the power n formula? You know that what is the differentiation of x raised to the power n with respect to x? It is nothing but nx raised to the power n minus 1. We are going to use that same formula here, right? So, this behaves as your x, the base. n behaves as the exponent or the power. 3 behaves as the power or exponent, right? So, it is n multiplied by x. That means power multiplied by x means the whole thing, right? Raised to the power n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 which is 2. But is the question complete? Firstly, this was the formula. Let's enclose it in a box, right? Is this question complete till now? No. Why? Because it is not only the matter of this whole power, but when you encountered, you saw the bracket was there, bracket was related to power, you use that power formula. Then you came more inside it. So it is sine inverse. What is the differentiation of sine inverse x with respect to x? It is nothing but 1 upon under root 1 minus x square, right? So, now what is x? It is x square already. So, x square is a square, right? So, it is x raised to the power 4. I again tell you how did I do it? I know the formula d by dx sin inverse x. It is nothing but what? It is under root 1 minus x square in the denominator and the numerator is 1, right? Now, this is what has been done. But again you came inside. You saw that this is still not complete. It has x square. Now what is the differentiation of x square with respect to x? Using the same formula, it is nothing but 2x. So this has been done. The only task now left is, is to write it in a more simplified manner. See, what are the constants involved? 3 and 2. 3 2s are makes it 6. Then you have here x. x 1s are makes it x then the rest thing should be copied sine inverse x square whole square and in the denominator you should have nothing but 1 minus x raised to the power 4. So that means what? That means we have solved the two questions based on the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. 